In this procedure, we will be installing the family and screen room on an awning. The tools required for this procedure are one to two people, depending on the task, an electric drill, a quarter inch hex head bit, a socket adapter, measuring tape, ladder, silicone sealant or butyl tape, a non permanent method of marking, a mallet or hammer, and a straight edge or sharp knife. The first step to installation is to fully extend the awning and ensure that the open roll tube slot and the slot access is down and accessible. Next, place the upper bracket directly under the awning rail so the hook is approximately 2 inches under the awning fabric and the end of the bottom of the L portion of the bracket is directly under the edge of the awning fabric. Then mark the bracket location. Now apply a liberal amount of sealant to the back of the bracket. Attach the bracket using the screws provided. After that, repeat the process on the opposite side. Molly rivets may be required if no backer material is present. We start installing the first side panel by measuring from the awning rail to the ground. For awning rails between 96 and 110 inches, attach the side panel lower strap to the upper bracket. For awning rails between 111 and 130 inches, attach the upper strap to the upper bracket. Then move to the other end of the side panel and wrap the strap over the roll tube next to the awning fabric. Attach the strap and tighten the strap. You should see the wedge zippers on the side panel facing under the awning. Adjust the height of the side panel by zipping up one or both zippers to make the appropriate height. Next we attach the front panel by choosing the appropriate polycord to slide into the roll tube. If both zippers were closed, use the lowest polycord. If the middle zipper was closed, use the middle polycord. If neither zippers were closed, use the top polycord. Moving to the side of the awning without a panel, insert the polycord into the slot on roll tube. With the help of another person, slide the front panel all the way down to the other end of the roll tube. Once you have set up the room, you can cut off the other polycords and vinyl on the front insert if you do not want the room to fit other unit applications. Now attach the second side panel to the second upper bracket using the lower or upper strap on the panel. Move to the other end of the panel, wrap the strap over the roll tube next to the awning fabric. Attach and tighten the strap. The wedge zippers on the side panel should be facing under the awning. Zip the zippers in the same way as the first side panel. With all panels attached, you can now zip the front panel to the side panels on both sides. Finally, Velcro the top side panel and front panel together on both sides. The room kit comes with a unit skirt panel and a shorter wheel well cover panel. Both will be attached to the unit with self-adhesive fasteners. The attachment points for the fasteners on the unit must be dry and clean. 
It may be necessary to use rubbing alcohol on the area before attaching the adhesive snaps to remove dirt and moisture. First, attach all the included self-adhesive fasteners to the snaps on both skirt panels. Now, install the wheel well skirt to cover the wheel well opening. Remove the backing of the first adhesive snap and attach it to the unit. Move to the next fastener and repeat process keeping the skirt in a straight line. Be sure not to cover any vents on the unit. Next, install the unit skirt panel by attaching the first adhesive snap to the unit approximately 2 inches outside of the room side panel. Move to the next fastener and repeat process keeping the skirt in a straight line. If the skirt covers a compartment, simply unsnap the skirt when using the room to obtain access to the compartment. If the unit skirt panel goes across the entry step, Carefully mark the location of the top, inner, and outer edges of the step frame on the skirt. Remove the skirt from the unit and lay out on a flat clean surface. Using a straight edge or a sharp knife, draw and then cut out three sides on the skirt. This creates a flap in the fabric. Now you can reattach the skirt to the unit. Then pull the steps out through the flap and then tuck the flap behind the stairs. To secure the room to the ground, first place a ground spike through the bracket on the side tensioner. Then hammer the spike into the ground, preferably slightly under the RV. This will keep the side panel snug against the unit. Pull the shock cord through to tighten the side panel. Position the room so the sides and front panel look square. Start at the side panel and use the grommet closest to the unit. Place the spike through the grommet and hammer the spike into the ground. Set the remaining spikes in the grommets in the following order. Side panel closest to the door, front panel near the opposite side panel, unit side, and then opposite side from where you started. Now you can set all the remaining spikes. This completes the procedure for installing the family and screen room on an awning.